guys i hope you're all having a good week oh my gosh moth free it's one of those things that seems like such a long way away and then it just comes around so fast i'm just in that mind of like oh my gosh it's in a couple of days time so we're here i've got another pile over here which i'm going to show you guys so before i start i'm going to show you Normally I have this printed out, but when you go to mod 1, mod 2, whichever mod training you're planning to go to, your unit should give you a checklist of everything that you need. You go in and you, you basically empty everything out here like this, and then you go through the whole checklist to make sure you have everything required for your mod. It's been the same checklist throughout all of the training but because I've been so busy I haven't been able to go into unit and have them check through all of my stuff and all of that so I'm just doing it now I have the checklist in front of me I would have printed it out but my printer's broken a lot of stuff is at your own purchase and what I found is that I had to buy a lot of stuff for this so it was actually quite a huge expense within such a short amount of time and when you look at the checklist and all the things that you don't have, the army provide a huge amount, but it's things that you need, so you have to get them. It took me forever to find all of the things that I needed. I went off of the checklist, but when I went into unit, some of the things that I had bought weren't suitable. Like, I had bought, for example, I was supposed to get a pair of black shorts. The army do normally provide shorts for you, but for some reason I just didn't get issued a pair, which is fine because they're not exactly the prettiest looking things. So I went and bought my own shorts. I bought two pairs. I just thought, you know, they may not like the other pair and it was one of those last minute purchases. I think I had like a day before I had to go onto my mod training. I only just got away with these because the other pair were a little bit too short and even though these are short they do have the inner lining as well so they were okay with it i wore these for mod 2 and they're perfectly fine with them so i have kind of gone through the checklist already just to see what's what i have this black bag which is underneath this mountain of stuff because i did go on to mod 2 training here it is, you do get issued this lovely bag, which is very handy. Um, my brain's just gone blank. I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> this black bag is something which I had packed for Mod 2, and because I already knew everything that had to go into the bag and everything that I had to take for Mod 3, I didn't really bother unpacking a lot of stuff, so all of this stuff that you guys can see are the things that I already had in here. But here we are, a few days to go to Mod 3. I'm excited to just go and get it done. One thing that I do like to do is I like to have the things that I'll need, like pyjamas or just kind of things like that on top. But everything else is just put inside. But what I do like to do, I went to boarding school guys, so I kind of have an idea of how to pack smart. I do tend to overpack. Everyone at the unit always says, I don't know how you bring so much stuff. And I go, I don't either. It just kind of accumulates into this huge amount of things that I do use. Like I bring a lot of snacks and things to do along the way and just things that I may need, <laughs> which probably <laughs> isn't the best idea because I end up having to carry it on the train and it's an absolute nightmare. But on the checklist also tells you how many items of clothing that you'll need to bring as well. So this is all the PT kit. I don't know how the training's going to be like because I'm going to Grantham this time and last time I went to for mod 2 I went to Perbright. Perbright is for full-time soldiers. I'm really looking forward to being able to compare the difference between Perbright training and Grantham. I'm definitely looking forward to that but Grantham is a lot further away so I'm gonna have to think of things to keep myself busy along the way. So these are thermals. I have a few things left at the unit already because during drill nights and things I like to keep it in my locker so I don't have everything. Also Bergen and the sleeping bags and things like that are also at unit. I did also think it would be a good idea because I have to take train to 
bring some of the stuff to the unit all prepared and ready to go so I don't have to take absolutely everything because you have this huge bag which is full to the brim of stuff then you have your big bag and full of your sleeping stuff and your webbing and then also you have your own personal bag with your snacks and all of those kind of things. You have a large towel and you have a small towel. <laughs> what happened for mod two? I was given two small towels. So when I was coming out of the shower, unrolling my towel, I only realized I had a small towel, which didn't exactly cover a lot. <laughs> so they had to change it for a larger towel. So I, thankfully I actually have a proper towel this time. I don't think I mentioned I'm rolling everything like this because it saves a lot of space. Just a tip that I learned from packing for boarding school because we also had a huge amount of stuff. So these are gloves which I bought for my own personal use. I just thought it'd be really nice because for Mod 2 I saw loads of people wearing them when we were on the rifle range and I just thought these would be really handy. So as soon as I finished Mod 2 I went out and bought myself a pair. Oh, but one thing that I am thinking about guys is weapons handling and map reading test. Because it's been six months I just... I don't know what I'm gonna be like. I went to drill night one night and that was one evening where we could do weapons handling with an actual rifle but I haven't handled a weapon since and it's been a long time so remembering all of the safety checks which is taught during mod 2 I know there's going to be another test quite soon on it and I just haven't refreshed my memory on that yet and we didn't get to do a lot of map reading um, during mod 2 so that's definitely something I need to revise and get the grips off because I know there's going to be a map reading test and it's just putting yourself in the best position before your training it just takes that little bit of pressure off because you already have a bit of knowledge on what's being tested so I haven't got around to do that yet and it's in a couple of days so that's one thing that I really got to do today is refresh my memory on weapons handling test and map reading so moving on to the next thing, I put a lot of items into clear bags. I like having everything together because they're small items, you have a lot of stuff, things can get lost really easily. So all of these things are things that I have learnt throughout my training just to make things a little bit easier when I go into mod 3. And also they're waterproof bags so they're always very handy. So in this bag I have sections so far. The torches, so this is the red light torch which is required and a handheld just normal torch. Also a little swift, swish, swish, swiss army knife. These look new because I don't get used very often. These are the only shoes that I wear when I'm actually training during mods. <laughs> Haven't worn them ever since. These are gonna go at the bottom, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> waterproofs and waterproof bottoms so just a tip for you guys if you do have big waterproof bags like this i like to label it with uniform one two and three just so i know what's what and then also putting a clean pair of underwear and socks into that bag so it's just all together all as one and then also if i can double waterproof the bag just in case the first one doesn't work very well so I'm going to put this to the side because I have fun ironing to do later. Yay! Okay, moving on. Fleece, which for mod, was it mod 1? I think it was mod 1. It was winter and at the barracks they hadn't put the heating on yet, so it was absolutely freezing. All of the girls in the dorm were wearing pyjamas, like long sleeve pyjamas, and then having these to sleep in as well. And it was very good, very comfortable and warm. And then gloves. You guys may be able to see but I wore these on the rifle range last time and they did get a bit scruffy which is also another reason why I bought additional gloves because I feel like these are quite nice looking and I don't really want to trash them because they just look really scruffy I know they're supposed to be used and all that but you know okay and then this is one of my favorite items I just absolutely love it it's like one of this kind of waterproof it's like this waterproof kind of material I've never tried or worn it in the rain so I don't actually know if it is fully waterproof or not it's just one of those thin kind of materials 
and then you have all the fluff inside. It's really comfortable and it has all sorts of pockets. It's definitely one of my favorite items. So then we have these thermal long johns and they are the strangest things out of everything which I was issued. <laughs> these are the items where you can definitely feel that, you know, these clothing aren't exactly built for females. I ordered a small pair and it was just like it's been made for someone who has no curves and is just completely straight. If I bent down or something then it would just rip. <laughs> so I've actually ended up having to hand those back and get reissued a larger size which now fits me on the thighs but now it's too large on the waist so just a really a kind of <laughs> strange pair of fitting but i don't yeah so like i was kind of showing you guys before these big waterproof bags so again i have put a lot of stuff that i know are in one category into a bag like i have 10 temp pegs. I bought less heavy duty temp pegs and they did say you know that's not really gonna work so I went out and had to buy more temp pegs which I have found really useful. People at my unit have these neon coloured temp pegs which they find useful so I think all these items that you end up getting you just kind of work out what's best for you and how it's like how you pack things in your bag and things it's just what works for them and then also in this bag is bungees so these are the green bungees dark green all sorts of different lengths and sizes for these i find if you bring a little bit more they will probably come in use at some point and then at the bottom because it's probably something that i won't use as often so everything that i know is going to be used i tend to put at the top so you can just grab it this is green string. I don't think I have used this yet, but it's just something on the list which is required. So I'll put it in its own bag. Socks. Something which I haven't really used a lot of. Because of the boots that I have been issued, these are more of the meshy kind of material. Absolutely love these boots. I wear them everywhere, every time I go hiking. Because they have this special kind of material meshy kind of material i use one of these scrubbing brushes to get off all of the dirt but because of the checklist again some things you have to bring that you don't actually require is this boot polish never used it i got told that it was the wrong one they like a specific brand even though they haven't put it on the list uh, you know i was like i'm just gonna get this talcum powder for your feet when hot and sweaty or wet Talcum powder is really good to help dry your feet off. I'm just going to fast forward this bit because otherwise we might be here for a while. favorite item so I thought it'd be a good idea because it's 65 liters I can put more of my personal stuff in here a small box of washing out powder so then I also have this swimsuit which I have actually worn quite a few times for training none of the mods yet though I bought it for last mod <laughs> I purchased one of these black swimsuits, but it had a bit of a strap back. It wasn't, you know, too strappy, but it just had a strap back. They didn't like that. So I had to go out and buy another one. So luckily we didn't have swimming last time. But this is one that I just purchased. It's just all in one, nothing fancy. Any completely covering black swimsuit will be fine. And then you have to bring, where is it, sandals for showering and just walking around the place because I don't like you to be barefoot. So I've just picked up a pair from ASOS. So I've actually gone out and bought whole new things because it's going to be two weeks. The worst thing would be to run out of stuff while you're there. So I just picked these up while I was shopping the other day. 
shampoo, conditioner. I like to put them into the bag. They don't like you having lots of things out every day. They expect all of your things to be packed up and shoved into your wardrobe again. So what I found really useful was to have everything in this clear bag. So everything that I just need in the morning, like the wash stuff and your moisturizer and all of that is all in one bag. You have to pick it up, do whatever with it and then put it back in your wardrobe. Again, like I was saying to you guys before, it's just having things all in one place which is accessible for you and quick to grab and then put back. I have shower gel, a big bottle. This is the gel spray, which I probably will need to buy a little bit more of because it's sounding a bit empty. It may have to be one of those last minute kind of purchases, but it's a gel spray. This is the best thing I have bought for keeping hair back and tidy. This is just something which I would like to bring. This is the Everyday Gradual Tanning Moisturizer. The thing that I did for Mod 2 though, I've never used a tinted moisturizer before and I don't feel like it did anything for me. But one thing that it was doing for me was coloring my hands. And the most embarrassing thing was when we were doing our salutes and I put my hand up like this and all you just saw was this giant orange hand bit embarrassing moment. Deodorant. I picked up some toothpaste. I'm going to take it out of this packaging though because it just takes up extra space. Does anything else need to go in that bag? Ah, face wipes because if you're wearing camo cream it can be a bit of a nightmare to get off. So just having face wipes just in case, just in case kind of moment. I will need to put, oh that is one thing that I'm missing. Where's that gone? face wash and then I'll put last minute kind of things into the bag as well but it's things that I'll need now so that's something that I always make sure I write down the things which I use every single day so I can't put it into the bag yet but I will need to bring with me spare clear bags for extra waterproofing your stuff this is all the stuff which you have to bring which is a huge amount of stuff so it does take a long time essential items which I will have to go out and buy more of because I don't feel like I have enough here are these blister plasters I always get these compied ones specifically because they are the best for blisters things which I will not be using which is just one of those items that you have to buy as well are these hair nets I don't know if it was required during the earlier days but now they aren't and you're allowed to walk around with a ponytail or a cat in your hair which is so much nicer because when you're training the bun at the back of your head it's just so uncomfortable so luckily they have changed that rule extra bin liners these are another personal item of mine it's coffee bags you only get to really have a coffee if you are able to go into the what they call the scoff house where you have breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I like to bring my flask with me, put a coffee bag in there. So when we're at breakfast, I like to fill it up with hot water, put my coffee in there. And then I have coffee in my flask for the whole day. Bringing things with me, which don't take up a huge amount of room, that may make training that little bit more enjoyable. A few pairs of hangers to hang uniform and everything else up. PJs long sleeve because I don't know how warm it's going to be when we're there. I will be packing more of these but these are the most comfortable sports bras that I have. I think I bought about three to four last time. More socks, more socks. Okay I think this bag is pretty much done. Nice feminine wipes when you're out in the field just something I want to bring just in case. A little kit which I bought off Amazon. This wash kit, it came with the most useless brush in the whole entire world. It came bent sideways because it was just utter rubbish. So I bought my own toothbrush and then you have toothpaste and then a little bottle of bath foam which is also provided in here and a mirror. So that's something which will definitely be brought in Bergen for the field. My own waterproof bag. I think it's about five to six litres or something like that. And I think it will fit a set of uniform in here. But just nice to bring. I have brought a few snacks with me so far. 
This is more our guys. I went to Waitrose yesterday and picked these up. These are mini millionaire shortbreads and mini flapjack bites. Do you guys know how tempting it has been having these sitting in my room for the past two days? So I have these. Other things that I have bought are these little protein shakes. I thought these would be quite handy to put in my bag when going to the unit, because I know that we're gonna be in the car or in the van for a good few hours. Just a little extra protein source to bring with me. One of my favorite chocolates. And then I just have these few random bars, which I had in my cupboard. You know, it's not a strong snack kind of game here. I feel like I need to go out and get some more snacks. That may be another last minute thing to do. Another thing which I found really useful is during Mod 2, because I was doing it October, November time, it was really cold. And the thing that I found really nice, the most the smallest thing, having a nice lip balm in my pocket. I know that sounds so random, but when it's really cold outside and you, you just, everything's dry and putting a nice lip balm on, I just found boost my morale so much. But these are the kind of things that I will be bringing. I think we are pretty much there, guys. Just adding the last minute thing, so I'll show you what else I have to bring. It's not a huge amount of stuff, which is good. The majority of the things which are absolutely essential are there. The other things which will need to be bought are the watch and then alarm clock and like hairbrushes and things like that. So that will all get sorted last minute, but we're gonna do this guys. Mod three, here we come.